have been close guard, open guard, half guard. But whenever we uncross our feet, it's not necessary that we have to just play open guard. A lot of times we find situations that, man, I tried to break his portion, he's locking in. How can I change the position that we have right now? I want to make sure if I can move his, his frame. I control both of his geese here. See how he's blocking. I'm kind of turning my body, but my legs are in contact with him. I don't want you guys to do this. Because every time my legs outside, they block. They raise their leg. They have the shield against you. Make sure when I open the leg, it's on top of his leg. This way, any motion that he wants to do, my leg is in front of his leg. <coughs> if I separate this way, I'm giving him a, a head start. I'm controlling this way. All I want to do is unbalance him. I'm moving him to see my body to the side. I'm bringing my knee inside. Keep holding. Now, as I'm moving my knee out, I'm raising this foot. Now I can let him go, and I have this. Controlling him. Option number one. I just want to unbalance him. I open and see how I move. In. Now I push him to the side. Now I can even move my leg back into inside. You will notice that you have more. Each time you do it, you have more options. But you see his arm is so tight and locked. It's like, man, it's so hard to, I don't want to fight him. I move, see my body to the side, bring my knee inside. Now let's see, I let it go his arm, hold his collar. No portion, now his arm is in jeopardy here. All I'd like you guys to do first is, whenever somebody holds, see how he's holding? Control his gi. How can I get my leg here? Can be either one. I choose that side. One. Now I'm start pushing his arm out and help with this leg. See, I have control of his arm. I can go out. I can now concentrate here. Go in. And a lot of times, because I'm flat, a normal way for him to defend, walk over me, Mark. Knowing that, one more time, again, as I'm moving in, go, I go there, consider his arm, I keep, as he's moving, go ahead, Mark. I keep rolling him. Now, you have the side control. All because of the beginning of your move. And if you have more, you can continue. Have five, 10, 15 more movements that come out of one position. Okay? Control the gear, the sleeve. Please don't do that. Now he has the advantage over me. I now I have to count his move. No, turn on your shoulder on your side. And look, leg comes in. Now when that knee opens, that leg comes high. If I want to sit up, there we go. Then switch for the arm. But the point I want to make sure you guys get is see how he's holding. Control, turn, bring inside. Now when I open the leg, this one helps. Go this way. Oh, when that comes out, here we go. Okay, they used to make my partner fall. Whenever he has no balance, I have a lot of possibilities against him. All right? Higher belt with floor belt, please. One, two, three. I'm over here, I make this move. As I push him out, I let him go. See, my legs are free. I even have more of this. Because I'm stay flat, the natural reaction is jumping over. When he jumps over, go ahead, I just follow. That's it. Now, base my hands. Sit on his arm. Don't try to free his, sit on his arm. Now he's stuck. Nothing he can do to stop this. Head mount. There we go. All right, one more time. And once I get there, I stay down. Attention, I want him to get out. As soon as I move him out, look. He's gonna jump. See how I'm mounting? Lock the hip with the knee and over here. If I mount like this, look, look at this space. Get out here, Mark. The other way, that way. Yes. Get out again. 
Mm. Can't move. But if I'm out like this, mm. okay, one more time. To trap the hip if you're knee in the heel. See where my knee is? If I don't have the knee close to his body, try to mark like this, he gets up. Okay? Close the door first. Now when I'm out, the door is closed because can you move ahead? And now I'm going to slide, especially the back knee towards the armpit. Look. Because if I try to change now, he gets out again. Okay? I move up. And the guys will see how we can always end up following up. All right? Get the position. You start moving. Roll parallel. I don't want to let my foot under his body. Slide, stay with his arm. Knee towards the hip. Step. When I step, I move up. I only have them up. All right, one, two, three. If I want to mount somebody by stepping over, I should not have his arm in. Anytime I'm over here trying to mount and his arm is in, here. Anytime I move my leg, move ahead, push me, push me. Yeah, see, he unlock himself. When you guys finish the sweep, you end up here. See his arm? There's no way inside. I'm seeing on his arm. And make sure when we mount, if I don't block his leg, just bring a knee in, look. And I try with the knee. He's blocking. Make sure you learn how to use the knee. Push the knee. I'm working on his knee. But I'm following him. I don't push his knee and stay. Trap him. If I try to mount and I'm not just trying this way, he's going to block my mount. And I push him, I go with him. See how close you are? Because if I push him, I stay far away, my leg doesn't get there. If I bring him back, I, my hip moves with him. I cannot just keep, just keep the knee parallel for a moment. If I bring him back here and stay here, look at his face. I'll make sure you guys understand my hip is connected to him. If the knee comes in, see how easy it is now to mount? If I push away, follow. Then I can always have this. But you see the arm? You can't stop the mount. Many times if he has the hand here, block my knee, block my knee. over his arm. I'll promise you, he's gonna pull it out. <laughs> oh, see? He doesn't wanna have the arm there. All right? Make sure he doesn't understand. The arm is out. Stay there, stay there. My body's here. And the knee, right here. Can I take my time? I'm the one controlling him. Here we go. Don't forget the back knee to slide up. Because if I try to switch now, Get some. All right, let's do it. One, two, three. First, if I get this far, I get his arm. When I roll to the side, I want to roll straight. Go ahead, Mark. Roll straight. Here now, I'm blocking him. He can be here or even here. I'll take my time. He's struggling there. He's trying to fight. I love when people try to fight. Is there now? Catch him. But you see my position first, control. I don't have to mount right away. Just make sure you control. You start moving his legs, and I block his leg. He start moving around. Good. Okay? One, two, three. Take your thumbs. Then you're also going to have that arm sticking up. All right? Whenever I feel that I want to close my leg again, many times I make the person lose their balance. I can always go back triangle, but I'm giving you guys options as you move your leg, but you know what you're doing. What we do in our guard is no accident. When I'm moving my legs, the guy fell down. You gotta understand which steps to take and that becomes natural movements for you, it becomes part of you. And the less we think, the better we do.
Because if you keep thinking, you pause yourself to the next move. Oh, I'm going to do this to him. He's already here. It becomes part of your game. A lot of techniques you feel very challenged for you to do now. In the near future, you feel like, wow, it's so comfortable now. The near future, I don't like the move for me, but I'm now I'm aware of somebody trying to do it. Because a lot of techniques that I showed, half the class will get it, the other half, that's not part of my game. I show another technique, the other half, they felt, oh, that's not for me. That's for me, perfect. But every technique helps you to understand how to move your body, okay? Normally, when I have people that come here from karate, one example, a lot of movements in karate are straight. Jiu-Jitsu have no line. Everything is spaghetti. You have to mold yourself into the position. Nothing straight. Then a lot of guys from karate takes challenge for them because everything is Jiu-Jitsu already soft in and move and go this way, which is different from other martial arts styles. It's also the techniques that we do is to help you to learn how to move. There's not other side that we know we fight from your back on the ground. We're, we're supposed to be dead, oh, over. No, we just started. Then you have to feel comfortable moving left, moving right, use your legs. Even when you're on the ground top, when you're on the ground on the bottom. Okay, nothing, the whole idea is not to bench press. Everything is finding the space by moving your body, inch by inch. A lot of our movements to get out or get in, I make my move and I wait for my opponent to make his move. On his movement, I have my follow-up of my movement. Okay? Let's start every round from close guard. We play from there, okay? We all know that the majority of our time, jiu-jitsu time, will be guard. Hop about it. And you must know what to do in both sides, all right? Help the white belts always. Let's go. One, two, three.